Many patients present to our practice with a diagnosis of endometriosis and a history of recurrent pregnancy loss, miscarriages, or failed IVF cycles. Most of the patients have already been treated with IVF prior to seeing us because the assumption was that this was not much more than a tubal blockage problem and that IVF would overcome this. But after countless tries at IVF, resulting in miscarriages or complete failure to conceive, many of these patients are incorrectly driven to pursue repetitive IVF cycles or to even move on to donor egg cycles, and many of those, as expected, do not succeed. The reason for these failures is an incomplete understanding of the ways in which endometriosis can cause miscarriages or IVF failure. 80% of women have retrograde or backwards flow of menses into the abdominal cavity, but only 10% actually get endometriosis. The reason is that these women have high levels of an anti-inflammatory chemical called interleukin-10 that deactivates the immune cells that are sent by the woman's immune system to try and destroy the endometriosis. These cells are called natural killer cells, and when they get deactivated in the abdominal cavity, the mother's immune system responds by making even more natural killer cells and making them even more aggressive in an attempt to eradicate the endometriosis. Well, in the abdominal cavity, they won't win, as the interleukin-10 continues to deactivate the natural killer cells. But in the uterine cavity, where there is no interleukin-10, the embryo is the victim of these activated natural killer cells. The natural killer cells are numerous, and they're activated, and essentially lead an immune attack against the invading embryo causing miscarriages or failed in vitro fertilization cycles. Many women with endometriosis are also found to make antibodies against their endometrial tissue, and these high levels of antibodies have also been found to play a part in miscarriages. This is the reason why many of our patients who are told their failures are due to poor egg quality and are in turn prompted to move on to donor egg cycles continue to fail or have miscarriages. The natural killer cell problem and even the antibody problem must be dealt with prior to recommending donor egg cycles. However, endometriosis can and in fact does have an impact on egg quality. When a young woman presents to our clinic with an elevated FSH, which is a sign of poor egg quality, and she has no other explanation, we actually look for endometriosis as the cause of the elevated FSH. It seems that for endometriosis to grow and implant, it needs an inflammatory chemical called tumor necrosis factor. TNF helps the endometriosis develop its own blood supply. These levels of TNF are therefore elevated in the abdominal fluid of the woman with endometriosis, and the exposure of a woman's eggs to TNF over a prolonged period of time can lead to damage to the eggs by a process called oxidative stress. In fact, studies have shown that in women with endometriosis and poor egg quality, there are high levels of a chemical called ROS, reactive oxygen species, in their growing follicles, which is a byproduct of this oxidative stress. And we know that high levels of ROS lead to and cause poor egg quality. You see, these patients are not starting out with poor eggs. The eggs are only damaged through the growth phase when they come in contact with the ROS. Supplements and medications to lower the TNF and ROS in women with endometriosis have been shown to improve egg quality, and our patients are always placed on these medications during the course of their treatment with us. And the changes that we witness are many times quite dramatic. As you can see, there are many factors of endometriosis that must be taken into account in order to achieve success. We usually go back to square one with our patients that were told to move on to donor egg. We treat the immune complications that prevent implantation while maximizing egg quality by reducing oxidative stress on the developing eggs. This combination therapy in patients with endometriosis will significantly improve a woman's chances of successfully initiating and completing a pregnancy with her own eggs. And if donor egg is required, these treatments will also have a significant impact on its success.